back to another episode of Paddleboard Building. It's been a while since I made any progress on this project, but now that summer is over, I'm getting back into the shop and looking forward to finishing this thing up. The last episode left off with a board that's just about ready for fiberglass, so let's get going on that. Before starting on fiberglass, the board got a final light sanding with the fairing board, using 120 grit sandpaper. This grit strikes a balance between too smooth, where the glass doesn't bond well, and too rough, where, well, it's just too rough. Once sanded, the board was vacuumed thoroughly and wiped clean with denatured alcohol. Because the deck fittings were already installed, they were taped off to keep epoxy from pooling inside. With the preparation of the board finished, the next step was to lay out the fiberglass cloth and trim it to the approximate size needed for the deck and bottom. I left a little overhang here that will be cut off later in the process. I'm using 4 ounce e-glass, and the plan is to overlap the deck and bottom layers at the rails so that there's a single layer on top and bottom, and a double layer covering the rails. Once each layer was trimmed, they were rolled up on dowels and put aside. I then taped off the rails right along the thin, light-colored strip to mark where the edge of the cloth would be, and to provide a way to cleanly cut off the excess cloth once wetted out. Before going any further, let's talk about the plan going forward. My idea is to do most of the job in one marathon session that will reduce the amount of sanding necessary and make the strongest board possible. My plan is to get a very early start, apply the first layer, and then apply the next as soon as the previous layer has cured to the point where it isn't tacky anymore. This means waiting several hours between coats and staying up late to get all the layers done, but I think it'll be less work in the long run. Okay, today's the day. It's early, it's dark, but it's time to get started. The first thing I did was heat up the epoxy resin a bit to reduce its viscosity and help it flow out smoothly. Next was a so-called cheater coat of epoxy over the bare wood. This helps to saturate the wood and reduce any dry spots later on once the cloth is added. I brushed on a fairly thin coat here and scraped off any excess after it had time to penetrate the wood. This coat is only being applied to the bottom and rails of the board at this point. I'll do the deck later on in the day. It's been a few hours, and now the cheater coat is no longer tacky, so it's time for the first layer of cloth. I started by unrolling the previously cut piece onto the board and smoothing it out carefully. Then came a coat of epoxy to wet out the cloth. I'm working from one end to the other and mixing up small batches of epoxy that can be spread out quickly. If the epoxy spends too much time in the cup, it can harden too quickly, and that's not good. I'm trying to keep things moving here by working in sections, where I'm going through the steps of mixing epoxy, spreading it out, and then going back to squeegee out the excess once it has fully saturated the cloth. After a few hours, the first layer was done. With another few hours to cure, the board is ready for the next step. I taped off the lower edge of the rail section where the deck fiberglass will wrap around to, and then flip the board. The partially cured excess cloth was then carefully cut with a fresh razor blade at the upper tape line and peeled off to reveal a nice clean edge. From this point on, it was really just a repeat of what happened on the bottom. Approaching the end of a very long process, the last layer to go on was the extra section of cloth applied only over the standing area of the board. With this layer saturated with epoxy, I continued to mix epoxy and spread it out over the entire deck and rails. This was the first of several fill coats that will fill the weave of the cloth and make it as transparent as possible. I'll do more fill coats later on in the process, but I wanted to get this one on before the first layer of epoxy cured fully. <laughs> After several days away from the board, the epoxy was cured to the point where it was time to start sanding and fairing. The idea here is to completely fill the weave of the cloth and end up with a fully fared board with no bumps, low spots, or any exposed cloth. It took several cycles of sanding with a long board and orbital sander, then brushing on a fill coat of epoxy, letting it cure, and then sanding again. It came out pretty smooth in the end.
Once I was satisfied with the epoxy job, the board got a thorough cleaning in preparation for its final layers of varnish. I'll leave that job for the next episode, though. Next time, I'll apply some varnish, and then varnish some more, and then sand, and then repeat it all over again before doing the final fit out. It's almost done, so stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't, and as always, thanks for watching.